Arrow Video continues its uh, runaway train of releases of classic Sammo Hung and Golden Harvest martial arts films of the 70s and 80s with 1977's The Iron Fisted Monk starring Sammo Hung. And this was the first film that Sammo Hung directed. And if you know Sammo Hung, he was huge in the 80s and into the early 90s as you know, part of the three brothers with Jackie Chan and Yoon Biao, and uh, his he did Martial Law, the basically rush hour ripoff show that was or super it beat was started as a super cop police story three ripoff TV show for CBS in the 90s, and then it morphed into a rush hour ripoff show. And Samo's great, I love him, he's great with the comedy, he's great with the action, and his martial arts choreography is, is unbelievable. So I was excited to see this. It's a traditional kung fu, think of the old style kung fu with the robes and the ponytails and all that. And uh, it stars Samo Hung, James Tien, who you might recognize from uh, Bruce Lee films and many other things, Dean Sheck, who was uh, in a lot of these movies, and I originally really knew from the Better Tomorrow films, uh, Ching Ying Yam, who Who's in a lot of martial, a lot of Sammo Hung films. Uh, Eric Sang, who would go on, I always thought of him as the Hong Kong Lou Costello, who went on to do a lot more stuff uh, as the 90s progressed. But I was surprised to see him in something this early. I don't think I'd seen anything as old as this. And uh, Mars, who's been in a lot of the Jackie Chan films, part of the Jackie Chan stunt team, uh, presented, it's 93 minutes, presented in, I love that they give you these options, Cantonese mono, Cantonese 5.1, Mandarin mono, English uh, mono, which is the classic dub, the vintage dub, which is how I watched it. English 5.1, which is the DVD dub from 2004. People go back and forth between, you should never watch it dubbed. You should you always watch it with subtitled. Uh, dubs is, dubbed is fine. So many of these movies I grew up watching dubbed, the, the, the movies of uh, Hong Kong movies, the uh, or classic kung fu movies, let's put it that way, and uh, Godzilla movies. So I still kind of have a soft spot for, for subtitles. And some night for, for dubbed, if it's sync sound, I'm certainly going to watch it with subtitles. But this was a period in China, in Hong Kong, where they, they didn't really shoot sync sound until like 92, 93. So it's dubbed either way. It's just whether you want the lips to kind of match or not. So I went with the classic dub on this. F uh, you know, fault me for that, if you will. Uh, subtitles are English SDH subtitles. Uh, it looks unbelievable. It looks great. These movies never looked, they always looked okay when we see, would see them on TV and videotape, but these look good. And, you know, nice widescreen, looks beautiful. Basic idea here is uh, Sammo Hung is sort of casually training with uh, Shaolin Monk Kung Fu School. The Manchus are in town and they're bad guys and they're pushing people around and, and throwing their weight around. And Sammo works with his uncle in a little restaurant or a little shop in the in the village. And the Manchus basically beat the crap out of his uncle, if not kill his uncle, and uh, mess up the shop. And Sammo wants to get revenge. So he goes to the, to the Kung Fu school and he's like, okay, I want to become a uh, registered badass with this, Sammo, with this uh, Shaolin Kung Fu school. And they say, that's great. That's going to be two years. And, and Sammo's like, ah, don't really want to wait the two years. So he basically busts out on his own with the, with the skills and training that he does have in order to just kick some Manchu ass, basically. And, and, and asses he does indeed kick. Um, Dean Sheck in this plays the character he often, I believe, would play, which is some kind of a weird guy who scrunches his face up a lot and is like a, a, a henchman or a philosopher or something like that. He always looks like a slightly civilized henchman, but is, is, is super weird. Um, surprisingly, this film has a rape scene in it that goes on for longer than you'd expect. It is a bit more explicit than you'd expect. I'm not talking like X-rated explicit, just simply thrusting and body parts. And you're like, wow, this is really distasteful. Not the kind of thing you're used to seeing in one of his movies. It's the kind of thing that I say it's the inciting incident. It isn't really the inciting incident in this movie, but I always say that about 70s revenge movies is that you need something to happen that's so bad that makes you so angry and repulsed that you're 100% okay with the hero of the film then doing unspeakable things about the people who perpetrated that inciting act. And that's kind of what this is. This shows you that the bad guy is a bad guy. He's just not a guy with an attitude problem. He's a bad guy. So you get that in here, uh, which was a little, a little surprising. Um, the final melee with uh, Samo and his monk mentor taking on the uh, Fu Manchu clan quadruple-handed is a total blast. It is just virtuosity on display in the kung fu. If you like the old style kung fu movies like I do, where they're shot and cut in a way where you can just sit back and see what's going on and be impressed by the, the performances and the acrobatics and the choreography, 
this movie's got that going on for it. Um, Buddha be praised. I should have said that at the beginning. They say it throughout the movie, all the monks. Buddha be praised. Uh, sometimes it's serious. Sometimes it's goofy, but it's effective in both of those things. When it's silly, it doesn't feel out of place. And when it's serious, it just draws you further into the story. Um, the fight choreography is, is typical of Sammo Hung. It's, it's a mix of creative, um, funny, and just brutal fisticuffs. Um, the extras on this, you have a commentary by Frank Jang. Frank is great. He was, I always say this in every one of these reviews, but he worked for Tai Seng Home Video in the um, 80s, 90s, 90s, 2000s, 90s definitely, he, which was the video company that brought a lot of uh, Asian and Hong Kong films to the U.S. on videotape initially and to, um, I don't know if they ever did DVDs, but I know they did Laserdiscs. So he worked with a lot of these people. He dealt with the Hong Kong film industry. He, he knows of which he speaks, and he always gives a, a great, almost breathless commentary when he does these. You get interviews with Sammo Hung. They are archival. They look like they were probably shot in the early 2000s. Probably, not necessarily, but probably for the Hong Kong Legends releases, but I'm not sure. Um, you get one that's nine minutes, and it's in English. You get one that's six minutes, and it's a four by three, so standard definition in English. Um, and it has clips in it from Iron Fisted Monk that really show you how much better this transfer is than the previous transfers or the old DVD release. Um, there's an interview with Casanova Wong, who is sort of the other male lead in this film. That's archival from the early 2000s. That's uh, 17 minutes and subtitled. There is the four minute original theatrical trailer and an image gallery of uh, 39 images. So this one was a real surprise to me. This is a film I had never heard of. And when I think of Hong Kong action, the action of Hong Kong, the action cinema that I really got into initially was that late 80s, early 90s period where it was contemporarily, mostly contemporarily set stuff with Jackie Chan and Jet Li and Sammo Hung and all that stuff. So I, it was later that I came to the Kung Fu, the premier Kung Fu. I always saw period Kung Fu stuff occasionally on TV and whatever, but I was never drawn as much to it. So I'm loving that all these new releases are coming out of these classic films looking way better than they ever would have back then. Back then, everything was pen and skin, and you didn't even see the opponent that somebody was fighting half the time. So available now on Blu-ray from 1977 is Sammo Hung's Iron-Fisted Monk.